Yeah, what's up guys? This is Kinsey First Trader. You also a king in this field and there is no king without a queen. So together we win in this fair. Guys, if you are new in this channel, consider subscribing. Destroy that red subscribe button for me. Here I drop videos on forest trading strategies, forest trading guides and everything you need to know in forest trading. So uh, basically I am focusing on boom. Uh, already you know I love trading boom and crash, okay? And today I'm going to show you how to catch multiple spike uh, on uh, spikes on uh, boom all right and crash also so you need to you know follow me step by step i'm going to use the uh in the one indicator i've not used before on this channel so i'm going to use bollinger bounds i know you have been hearing about bollinger bounds but i will surprise you it might not be what you are thinking or what uh, the is a kind of a different analysis here so um uh bollinger bounds you already know is a kind of um indicator for for you to measure volatility how volatile the market is or the, uh, you know when you have um volatility indicator add into your charts let's get the volatility indicator we have it here sorry the uh, that is a bollinger bounce now you can see uh, i've added my bollinger bounce once you 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 once you add it you see something like this crowd stuff uh i kind of um, you see the crowd but um the lines you have basically the 20 uh moving average okay so let me show you the setting look at where the setting you can see this that is the setting you tap on it you see uh the style you see the line that is 20 moving average then have much or multiple i don't know uh two so after that you click on done so basically you have the red 20 moving average here yeah? then the deviation this is the second deviation that is how um this line or the price deviated from this 20 moving average this upper this is the lower bound and this is upper bound so it's two deviation from the middle one so you should know this, this is 20 uh 20 moving average then uh the upper bound and the row uh the lower bound so these are uh three lines the uh, bollinger bounds are made of so possibly you're expecting me to say ah whenever the price come to this point once the price is here buy okay once this price is here you sell once the price is here you sell is here you sell you here you sell and it's <laughs> the price is here you buy what of here the price is here <laughs> why not buy and if, assuming you 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 bought here you see you you're losing to as you be losing the trade to this point Okay, so it's a kind of um, um, as as you can see, if you bought here, you will lose. You can small. Okay, if you if you, if you enter this trade here, you will lose. <laughs> so that is basically what you will see every online. Most time you will see those things. Once it's at the upper bound, you sell. Lower bound, you buy. But that is not what I'm I'm here to show you. Okay, we are trying to be more accurate. Okay, we are trying to be more accurate. So basically, the information this Bollinger Bound pass is when you see the Bollinger Bound compressed or so kind of closer to each other. If you see the lines very close to each other, it means that uh, we have a very low volatile and we are preparing for a massive movement. So when you see them come close, you get ready for a trade. All right, this is a kind of signal to you, like what is happening right here. You can see them very close to each other so when you see those uh, uh the lines compressing you can see them they are very close so you get ready for a trade all right so this is the kind of trade i want you to take this is very simple once you see that the volatility is low then first the next thing you need to do is to wait okay i'm giving i'm focusing on this i'm focusing on this guys just pay attention once the vertices, uh, the, the, the lines compress or come close to each other, you get ready for a trade. As a trader, you are only looking, most time you are looking for that impulsive movement. You don't want to go and, you know, enter a trade in, in this kind of, uh, kind of, uh, this kind of place where you know that there will be no much movement. You can see the lines are very close and you see the movement here. You just catch one P, one spike or that, uh, maybe two. Uh, three so you need this kind of spike you need this kind of movement okay in this kind of movement sorry so this a kind of movement that you need guys so now look at how you enter this trade first remember once the line starts spreading it means that the volatility is high all right or it's becoming high so you need to enter a trade 
on or a trade when the uh, market is volatile okay now what you need to do is once the price starts compressing you get ready and you know get ready to either buy or sell okay you are now uh, looking for opportunity to buy or sell when uh, on crash you are looking for opportunity to sell for you to cast spike on boom you are looking for opportunity to buy so now we are on boom 500 so we are looking for opportunity to buy all right the price have compressed and is very close to each other we are looking for this so on at this point you discover that the price start going down and touch this line okay the lower bounce so as it's touching this line the line starts spreading okay you can see the line start going far away from each uh, each other you can see this one coming down you see this one going up okay if you measure it you see that we have a very long distance from here to here so this is what you are looking for you are looking for a situation whereby you have these lines you know uh come closer to each other of it, compressing and at a point the, the you don't enter your trade exactly where you see you must see a signal the signal is that you must see this line start going far away from each other once you start seeing this happening okay once you start seeing this happening you get ready to enter your trade so look at the the the, the, the kind of trade you want with the kind of movement you want to cash here okay so now when you start seeing this spreading look at the first signal where you should enter there will be a spike that we call you know kind of spike that will give you a signal that okay we are about to start this movement all right so first of all the line have start spreading and going far away from each other then there was a spike to trigger your entry but you can still wait until you have this spike again which is this one this one which is the second entry once you see this spike is a confirmation and you will see when it when it happened the price keep the sorry the, this line the upper band and the lower band keep going far away from each other look at where you should enter this trade right here so you would have entered a buy look at the point you should enter a buy here okay then when you enter a buy what you need to do is to set your stop loss below the lower bound all right all right so if you want to cash if you want to catch this movement set your stop loss below the lower bound okay you can see this line here set your stop loss below it so you keep riding as the price keep going up you keep changing your stop loss or pushing your stop loss to uh, below the lower bound as the price keep moving you keep changing until the price look at where you're supposed to have left this trade is at this point when the price gets to this lower bound here okay let me remove this so that you can see so look at the point the price you you could have uh, kind of left uh, the trade because or close your trade because the price now come down and touch that lower bound and push you out all right so but what you need to do is to end once you see this entry signal that is the uh, your 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 a kind of uh what triggers you to enter the buy once you see the price the line start going far away from each other you wait to see a spike that triggers your buy your entry all right so once you see this spike you enter your trade and you catch those spikes okay you catch the spikes then set your stop loss below the lower bound for you to give your price room to breathe all right you need to give your price room to breathe look at the place um uh, you could have pushed you away from this trade because you, your stop, stop loss is supposed to be below here so possibly it might have a kind of triggered you know trigger your stop loss right there so basically this is how simple tra this trading bollinger bounds is i told you i'm going to show you different concepts different uh, kind of view how you can actually trade this you know sometimes when you see if you consider all this thing when they when they touch at the lower bound you buy upper bound you sell you discover that sometimes they touch and they keep moving down within that line so what if you have bought here you'll be losing so you needed to see a clear you you must try to be more accurate while trading so if you should go back let's see if we have any uh signal like that um let's let's see here you can see the price you know compressed follow me just pay attention to this the price you know start coming close to each other you can see the distance now at this point the price get to this lower bound i, I, I think you can see this you get to this lower bound and there was a spike and the price start going far away from each other you can see the the, the lower bound start spreading then the upper bound start going its own way look at the point you enter this trade at this point you enter a long position at this point okay 
once you enter a long position you set your stop loss below the lower bound okay and you keep riding this trade as it's moving you are pushing your stop loss below the lower bound so look at the point it could have you know take you uh, out of this trade is at this point look at the point it's actually triggered uh, look at this one this one you could have you know close your trade here okay this is how simple this just picture or see when the uh, the the price is compressing or coming close to you. you can see this this thing keep happening you can see this they are very close okay they are close then you wait for a, a spike to come once the spike come you start seeing them spreading you know go far away from you you can see this once they start spread, you enter your trade and set your stop loss below the lower bounds and you keep riding this trade. Okay? It's very simple and keep, this thing keep repeating itself. This is um this is boom five hundred, okay? This is boom five hundred. Because I noticed that if we should enter each time it touched like what is happening here, look at it here again. Assuming you want to enter when it touches the lower bounds, as people always say, you discover that it will touch the lower bounds. And keep moving down you know you'll be losing all this why so you needed to enter your trade at the right time okay you need to see an a kind of a, a trigger what triggers you to enter a trade each time you want to trade there must be something that push a kind of push you to buy or to sell bear this thing in mind whenever you are buying or selling so this is exactly how you can use this simple indicator to enter your trade each time it works both on boom crash volatility you can use it on step index too and if you trade currency the only thing is that the strategy or the way you apply it is a kind of different now you see see how clear this thing what kind of uh, uh trading this how accurate trade using this strategy or entering this trade this way will be than when you are trading or when you are entering your trade once it touches the upper bound and lower bound okay so this is a perfect entry for you. This is a perfect way to trade Bollinger Bounds, guys. I don't have to waste much time on this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know that you will try it, drop a comment, tell me how, uh, after trying it, drop a comment and it kind of tell me how it worked for you. Because I know it will, it will surely work well for you and you are going to make a lot of money using this simple strategy. You know, I don't like using indicators, but I use indicators too, okay? So I'm a price action trader. I love doing whatever the price is doing. You know, indicator can also help you in analyzing your trade, make the work so easy for you. A kind of then, if you want to go extra mile, you can now start drawing your support and resistance and all that to see where uh, a perfect entry or point where you should enter your trade. Okay, this is the kind of you know adding things. You know, trying to uh, be more accurate. If you want to be more accurate, you can draw your support and resistance. Then add up your Bollinger Bands. And use this strategy, guys. This thing works well. Just picture when they are very uh, kind of uh, uh, closer to each other. Okay, once you see this, you can see them come very close to each other, which is low volatile. This uh, you see uh, the the volatility is low. Then you don't enter because it touched yet. I'm I'm repeating this thing because some people have a kind of land trade in this way, so it's very difficult to. If you enter here, you'll be losing. You need to allow this to happen. Let a spike come. After they start spreading, you wait for a trigger. You wait for a trigger, which is a spike, to come to push this up. And once they push it, you see that the, the price keeps going down. And this one keeps spreading. Then you enter a buy and you ride this trade. Okay? It keeps happening, guys. So that is exactly what I want to show you on this video. You can test this thing out. Drop a comment on how it works for you. I know it's definitely going to, going to work and you are going to be catching a lot of spikes on this. I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, I have a Telegram group if you want to join. You are free to join the Telegram group. Then, if you want to learn forex trading, chat me up at KSFS Trader on Telegram. I have my number below the, the description of this video. You can chat me up on WhatsApp or call me. Yeah, I'm here to help you. I'm here to, you know, we are here to learn. We learn together. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now, guys.